Is meditation good or bad? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians. On this channel, we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. Now, I'm not saying all churches or pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. Today, we are looking at meditation. Some churches think it's bad and we should stay far away from it. And some churches say embrace it, but which is correct? Let's look at a definition of meditate, which is to engage in contemplation or reflection. So looking at this definition, we see that meditation is a form of reflection or a form to engage. This came to me recently, and I kind of wondered why did Jesus spend a lot of time alone? And we're going to take a look at the Old Testament in Numbers chapter 5, verses 2 through 3. It says, Tell the Israelites to send outside of the camp anyone, male or female, who is richly unclean and could spread it to others, namely those with skin legions and distress charges or who have touched a dead person. They need to stay outside of the camp in order not to richly contaminate my dwelling place among them. You see, a lot of times Jesus would go outside of the crowd to be alone with God, even though he was God. But by doing this, he was purifying himself for the next day because he was constantly laying hands on the sick, diseased, and others, so he needed to be cleansed as well. And this was one way of doing this. So what does this have to do with meditation, you may ask? Well, meditating on the Word of God is a reflection or in case you need to purify yourself from sin's past. It is meant to bring you closer to God, not further. Think of it this way. It is your meditation is like you going outside of the Israel camp and purifying yourself. Though a lot of Christians view it as a bad thing, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Yes, you should stay away from Eastern meditation that is not of God. But I hear pastors all the time say, meditate on the word of God, find a quiet place with the Lord, etc. Yet don't practice meditation because it's evil. Does that not reject what you said in the first place? I'm not saying you should not be careful with it, but for me, I did not meditate for a long time. I did not think I would need it. I mean, I read the word, went to church, I went through all the motions, yet I still felt miserable. It was not until I discovered an app called Soul Time Christian Meditation, and I am in no way sponsored or affiliated with them. It's just an app I found, and my word, it was just what I needed. Simple meditations to help me through the day. To this day, I use this app every morning, and I notice that I am much calmer during the day than I would normally. You see, meditation, especially Christian meditation, is good for you. I'm not talking about pastors preaching. I'm talking about Christian meditation to help you reflect and get closer to God. Because sometimes we get so full on spiritual food, we don't know how to release it. And this is one way to relieve pain and stress. So I hope this helps you understand what meditation is and how it's not evil but a good thing for you. And join me next Friday where we will discuss outreaches. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.